I really had a great time here in Port Blair. Now it is time to explore many more wonderful places here in Andamans. In our today's journey, we'll be exploring the islands of Neil and Havelock, the white sand beaches and the abundant corals, the beautiful nature. We'll also be visiting Barton Island and explore the limestone caves. Thanks a lot for joining in. Now we are travelling to Swaraj Dwi. We will be taking a sealing ferry. There are many other options in order to travel to Havelock. For more details, click the link in the description. You can also get the information related to online booking. I started my journey boarding a sealing ferry from Port Blair. It requires about one and a half hour to reach Havelock Island. There is also a government ferry scheduled a little early and it would cost you less than Sea Link. I reached Swaraj Island and I was recommended to first visit the Elephanta Beach. You need to go there in a ferry and you can get it next to the jetty. It took about 15 minutes for me to reach Elephanta from Havelock Jetty. Well, this is Elephanta Beach. It's also an elephant corridor and has water activities like jet ski, parasailing and snorkeling to name a few. Snorkeling is something which I would recommend you to experience. The beautiful underwater world where the clean and crystal water makes the experience much more better. Coming here was such a great experience. From here, we'll be going to Kalapattar Beach, one of the many wonderful white sand beaches here in Havelock. As you enter, the waters and the blue sky lures you. Walk in the shore is such a peaceful experience. The less crowd makes things much more wonderful. Do make a point to drink a coconut water here. A typical tropical climate is what you get to experience. It's evening time and welcome to one of Asia's top beaches. Radhanaga beach, a blue flag beach with a vast coastline, green pine trees on other side. A walk in this beach you would be guaranteed a peace which you'd always look for on a seashore. The cool sea breeze, the setting sun makes it a place to be in the evening. Radhanagar beach is also known for its sunrise. Do make a point to be here before 5 am. Scuba diving is something you must experience here in Havelock. Being complete worth of time and money. I was floating in silence, witnessing some of the most wonderful beings in these waters, an experience we can rarely get elsewhere. You will be in waters for about 30 minutes and the cost of scuba diving would be around 3,500 per person and in deep sea it would be around 6,000. You would need no swimming skills, whole experience would be wonderful. Travelling about one and a half hours from Havelock, I reached Shahidweep. It's also called as Neil Island. The main attraction here is on Lakshmanpur beach. The main attraction here is a natural bridge. The beach is a bit rocky and thanks to low tide, I was able to walk through the corals. Locals call it as Havra bridge. I could see a lot of people from West Bengal here in Neil Island. I found the water to be crystal clear, but I did not find the beach to be safe enough for swimming. I could see a lot of shells, corals, starfishes here in this beach. As it's rocky, be a bit careful when you walk on the corals. It might be a bit slippery at times. The beach is located on the west side of the island. 
and it's about two and a half kilometers from the jetty. I had completed five days here in Andamans. Today we'll be traveling back to Port Blair and from there we'll be going to Barteng Islands. In Barteng Islands, we are going to explore the limestone caves. I started journey from Port Blair and had a distance of about 100 kilometers to travel to Barteng Islands. Starting my day early from Port Blair, I was excited to witness the beautiful countryside, small towns and dense jungles, something different than what we generally see in the mainland. Road journey was smooth. During our journey, we would need to pass through Jarwa Reserve Forest. Visitors are required to take a permit and this process would require to get your identity proof. It would take about 40 minutes for you to get the permit depending on the crowd. Hence, make a point to start early from Port Blair. Travelling via forest was wonderful and after some time we would come to Middle Strait. We have to take a jetty to Bartang and from Bartang you have to take tickets and also one more ferry to reach limestone caves. We would need to walk around 4 kilometers to reach limestone caves. We would need to walk for about 30 minutes in the forest. En route you also get refreshments. The trees, the fields are pretty unique. After some time we reach limestone caves. Limestone is a sedimentary rock formed at the bottom of the sea. It's formed over millions of years when various deposits of marine life, shells, corals and skeletons undergo a natural compression to form a unique shape within this cave. Make a point to hire a guide and also carry a torch when you plan to visit this cave. It's quite fascinating to be here. I really had a great time traveling to Bartang and checking out the limestone caves. I hope you liked today's journey. I really had a great time in Andaman Islands and this trip will be very dear to me. I hope you also get a chance to visit Andaman Islands with your friends and family. If you liked today's video, do hit the like button and let me know your comments. Do consider subscribing my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.